Mark Cook from Motorcyclist Magazine at AIM Expo 2014. I'm here with Scott Harden, the one and only Scott Harden of Zero Motorcycles, who's going to give us an update on what's happening for 2015 and look at uh, some broader issues of, uh, of electric motorcycles in the marketplace. Now, Scott, I know you guys have done a lot of work. Every year you guys seem to really ramp it up. What's new for 2015? Well, this year we really focused on the areas that were weak spots for us. Uh, we've really been working hard over the last few years to develop our power packs, our range, the performance of the motorcycles. We've done really phenomenal work there. This year we focused on the overall finish, fit, finish and the feel of the bike. So we focused on suspension. We upgraded the suspension to show a suspension for 2015. Pirelli tires come as standard equipment. And we have Bosch ABS brakes connected to new brake systems. So brakes, suspension, tires, everything that to get that power transmitted to the ground and enjoy the ride experience. That's what we focused on. Now, obviously, getting the attention of a Showa and a, a Bosch signals something about Zero Motorcycles as a company. Is that uh, is it fair to say you guys are sort of over the brink of, uh, of respectability yeah, that's, here? That's a that's a real good way of looking at it. I mean, we worked hard. We've been talking to Showa for three years and a lot of the mainstream suppliers, and we just couldn't get their attention, you know. They weren't sure about us, what we were doing, but I think we've demonstrated over the last five years that we're very dedicated to this. We're serious as hell about it. We're building great bikes. We're getting traction in the marketplace and now the fact that we are attracting Showa, Pirelli, Bosch to this to our program along with our existing suppliers it's a great step forward for us. Obviously sales have been growing for you each year what are you finding in the marketplace Who, who's buying a zero motorcycle? Well you know it's they generally fall into three buckets the three buckets are the commuter these are the ultimate commuting machine with the ranges on the highway of 90 to 100 miles, 185 miles in the city. They meet 95% of most people's commutes. There's the full stable guy that has a bunch of different bikes and wants the latest and coolest technology. And our bikes are a lot of fun to ride, so they've got to have a zero. And then there's the new rider. We're seeing a lot of new people coming to it that, you know, coming to the sport through our product, which is really exciting. We're bringing new people into the sport because they look at electric, they, they feel it's a little bit safer. They feel a little bit, they like what it does, what it represents for the environment, for replacing a, an alternative fuel source. So we're getting those customers as well. So we're excited about that part, especially. It's nice to have a little bit of a diversified clientele there. So, oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we, and one thing we find about is our customers are passionate about our bikes. They love it. You know, even the full stable guys, if they have a zero in there, that's the bike they ride. That's their everyday bike. You know, uh, they just love riding our bikes. That's fantastic. Now, your bikes are built in California. I know you're ramping up your 2015 production. When are the bikes going to be available? Uh, the first ones will hit the dealerships in, in the West Coast in December uh, 2014. Uh, we're starting production in mid-November, earlier than ever before, and we'll have bikes in the marketplace in the U.S. in December, and then in Europe in late February. So you can find out more about Zero Motorcycles at our website, www.zeromotorcycles.com. Or visit our Facebook page and uh, see what all the fans are saying about the experience of riding an electric bike. That's great. Well, this is Mark Cook from AIM Expo 2014.